guys, welcome to Zakra Crew with me, Zakra from Indonesia. Okay guys, in this video, I want to tell you about the history of the relation between France and also Turkey. So do you know guys, I'm so bored to see some news about the relation between Turkey and France. Like they always have conflicts to each other. And maybe people around the world will think that Turkey and France are enemy to each other. It's because the news of the problem of making a caricature of Prophet Muhammad in France. And do you know guys, the conflict between France and Turkey not only happened at that time, but in the past, the France have a plan to make an opera about the Prophet Muhammad. And it became a conflict at that time. And after I knew about all these things, I think the France like a nosy person that always disturbs. But do you know guys, in the Ottoman era, in the reign of Sultan Suleiman al Qanuni, France and Ottoman were a good friend. It's because the France always need Ottoman to help their country. And Ottoman always help the France. France's close diplomatic relations with Ottoman Turks or Ottomans in the 16th century is an anomaly. This is because, in general, Christian countries in Europe are suspicious if not hateful toward the Islamic Caliphate, which succeeded in conquering Constantinople since May 29 in 1453. In fact, the French King Francis I in the early years of his reign of 10 carried anti Turkish still. According to the La Margensen in his article, the Ottoman Turks in 16th century French diplomacy, 1985, Francis I's change in attitude was not solely the result of his defeat in the Fafia War in 1525. It is undeniable the role of Sultan Suleiman I al Qanuni was quite large in the release of Louis Savoy's son from Charles V custody. However, why did the alliance with the Ottomans continue with France after the king was free? Jansen believes the reason is that Francis I saw the great benefits of collaborating with Turkey. At that time, the Islamic Empire controlled almost all of West Asia and parts of the Mediterranean coast. Various cities and strategic forts are under the control of La Sublime Fort. The Brigham Young University academic said Francis I sought long-term diplomacy with Turkey in order to seize various international trade concessions. The French king realized that Christian countries such as Venice and Ragusa had enjoyed various advantages by opening cooperation with Turkey. As a result, the two city-states became more prosperous. The trading port is always busy and receives supplies of various valuable commodities from Asia. After returning to Paris in 1529, Francis I sends a delegation led by Antonio Rincon to Istanbul. Initially, the envoy was assigned to ask for the blessing of Sultan Suleiman I to be pleased to restore the status of the old church in Jerusalem which had become a mosque. However, the request was subtly refused by the Sultan. However, the Turkish leader respects France's claim to be protectors of Christian rights in the Holy Land of Jerusalem. In April 1535, just as Charles V was attacking the Turkish military bases at La Goleda and Tunis, Francis I sent Jean de la Forêt to Fort. His task was not only to convey France's formal support for its military mission in the Mediterranean against the Habsburg and the Holy Roman Empire, but also to explore long-term trade agreements. The mission was successful. Until the end of the death of King Francis I and Suleiman I, the agreement continued to apply. As a result, French sailors and merchants enjoyed various confidence to trade and obtain goods at the Caliphate's ports, both in Asia and North Africa. It should be noted that Turkey's friends' relations at the time were not equal. In a sense, which is more actively asking for help is France. France continues to send its ambassadors, French consulates were opened in Istanbul as well as several cities. 
However, there was never a permanent representative office or any kind of Turkish embassy in French territory, especially during the era of Suleiman I. Jensen said that didn't mean the caliphate was half-hearted in establishing diplomatic relations. What the Sultan wants to emphasize is that his kingdom has always been a superior position. Friends need Turkey, but not necessarily Turkey needs France. Well, okay guys, that is the history about the relation between France and Turkey Ottoman. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe. Okay, see you in the next video.